Good morning, everybody. How you doing? It's me, Davy Z. Coming to you live from my backyard here in Western New York. Um, <laughs> we're supposed to have nice weather. It's summertime. Today's my 58th birthday, and uh, we got wind and rain. You know, the day I was born in June of '62, it was a rainstorm. It's kind of funny because. Almost my entire life, but maybe five birthdays, it rained on my birthday that I can remember. Whether it was just for a few minutes or all day or a couple days. But I always <laughs> always seem to have bad weather on my birthday. But that's okay. I'm working over in North Buffalo. It's a little breezy. You know, the winds are like gusting at 25, 30. So what I'm going to do is go over there and take the ladders down that I got set up and anchored. Um, so nobody gets hurt. And... Yeah, I'm gonna see if I could do some caulking in between the raindrops. You know, last year when I was on that job, I mean, I know a lot of you guys saw me. You know, I had my buddy Rody Joe over there, my buddy Carl helping me out. Um, but it turns out that the snow came in and I couldn't finish the job. So I had to put it off for the winter, excuse me. Ah, nothing like Tim Horton's coffee. So I had to put it off for the winter. So when I was on that job last year, on this job last year, I was not in a good place, emotionally, physically. Um, we had the problem at our home, trying to get people out of there. Um, it worked out. So we got back to our house. We're back. We've been back almost a year now and it's great. Love being home. Um, I wasn't healthy. I had a serious problem with medicine that I was taking and it made me very, very ill. Every morning I would wake up throwing up, gagging, sick, whatever. Now, I'm in recovery. I had a problem with lower tabs when I had an injury. So I had to get off of them and the doctor subscribed me, I'm sorry, prescribed me some medication for it. Um, and I did well with it. I'm off the pills. I've been clean for seven years from them. Um, I never got into anything heavy. I never did any heroin or anything like that. I just, you know, I, I got overboard with the with the lower tabs. So needless to say, I'm clean. Anyways, but back then I was struggling trying to get off of the Suboxin. Um, and the VA had a new policy in place where they wouldn't give you medicine right away if you were trying to get it with them. So I got in the program there and I, I was having to buy the medicine on the street. And uh, you know, with the blessing of the counselors, I mean, they just told me straight up, you gotta do what you gotta do. And I could never get an even dose and I was taking it wrong. You know, it's gonna sound gross, but when you're, when you're in a program of recovery and you're taking Suboxone, Subutex, or just Buprenorphine like myself, um, it, when it melts under your tongue, when it's done, it's done. You spit that shit out. You don't swallow that stuff. Because if you swallow that stuff, I hope the wind's not bothering us. If you swallow that stuff, you're gonna wind up sick, like I was. So I didn't know that. You know, I would, I would just let it dissolve and normal, swallow my saliva like everybody else does. And it would lay in my stomach and it would make me lose my appetite. And I got real skinny. I was down to like 165, something like that. I was telling everybody I was still 180, but I was 165. And people were worried about me, which I really appreciate. People thought I was sick with cancer or, you know, whatever. They just thought I was sick. And um, I wasn't. It was, it was myself. I was doing it to myself. So for anybody that's on any kind of naloxone, buprenorphine combination, or just buprenorphine, whatever, you really have to remember to take this stuff right or it's gonna have adverse effects on you. So with that being said, I, I got past that now. And you know, the other thing that was going on last year was I lost my sister, Kathy. You know, I'm not gonna get into the detail, but it was, uh, it was really sad, folks. You know, I, I love my sisters and Kathy and I were very close. We, you know, we talked on a phone long distance all the time. She was in Phoenix for the last 38 years. 
and I've been in Buffalo basically, but it was like we didn't lose a step. I'd go visit her, she'd come here for the summer. Kathy and I were tight, and when she passed away, it really, I, I mean, just devastated me, guys, devastated me. And then it made me think of my own mortality. You know, what am I doing wrong? Am I next? Is Lisa next? Is Evelyn next? What the frick is going on here? Excuse me. I know, I'm only smoking one or two a day. Believe me, that's all I'm doing. So anyhow, um, you know, the sickness that I had was affecting my whole life because I had this problem with my stomach going on, thinking there's something seriously wrong with me, not knowing I was taking my medicine wrong. I had no appetite, I was losing weight, and, and like I said, people were concerned. But because of that, I was afraid to go to sleep at night because I knew I'd wake up in the morning sick. And I had extreme anxiety from it. Paranoia, I mean, it was terrible. And you know yourself, anxiety and stress will, will definitely help you lose weight. And that's what happened to me. Um, so after all that shit, besides all that shit, we had the problem with the house. My sister died. Um, and it was a big struggle and I was trying to get this job done now I contracted the job in June started it in July and didn't get to finish it one house that's how sick I was I used to bang out two houses a week myself ranches you know prep them and paint them no problem and I know I'm 58 I'm not a spring chicken anymore but I, uh, you like the Velcro? <laughs> but I, uh, I still can get my work done. It takes me a little longer, but I'm good. I know what I'm doing. And, and it, it drove me crazy that I couldn't get the work done. I'd get to work. First of all, I'd have to spend 20 minutes. I'm sorry, 20 minutes, yeah. That was just getting out of bed. It, it would take me two hours to get ready to go to work because I'd be gagging sick, have to recover, take my medicine, you know, do everything like, and, and I show up at like 10 o'clock. And then by one or two from being sick in the morning, it would just make me down even more. And I'd, I'd wind up having to leave or, but then again, you know, like my sister died, I had to go out of town for a couple weeks. Um, the problem with the house, my wife and I, you know, we owned this house and the people weren't paying rent. We couldn't stay here. We sold our other house thinking they were gonna be out and they never moved, so. But you know, that's the story in itself. It's all in the past, bridge, you know, water under the bridge. God bless them, I hope they're doing well where they're at. Now, hey car, I'm doing a video. So, the, my point being guys is, I, I spent two years sick, and in them two years, my sister died, we had the problem with the house, the stress and anxiety was off the wall. And here I am now, I'm back at my house. I'm a 100% disabled American veteran. I got a nice pension coming in. I got a, my trike here in Buffalo now, my, my flyer. I'm picking up my Harley this weekend. I've gained weight back. I've definitely stopped playing out for a while. I, you know, the band, I'll, I'll never stop being a musician and I'll play out again, but this time, I just decided to take a year off because I, I loved my band, Midlife Crisis. We were very good, great vocals, great musicianship. But when it ended, one person left a bad taste in my mouth and then the second person followed by not even responding, you know, and leaving me hanging with gigs. So, but that's okay. I'm over that too. I wish them nothing but the best. Midlife Crisis, if you get a chance, go check them out. They're a really good band. My new band is gonna be called Midnight Crisis. The Midnight Crisis Band. People knew me as Midlife Crisis. I'm, I'm co-founder of that band. Um, so I have a right to carry on some semblance of the name. And that's what I'm doing. Um, kind of like another buddy I know, you know, with Black Widow and Widowmaker. That was cool, Mikey. Anyhow, guys, things are looking up. Things are good. 
Today's my birthday. Yesterday was mine and Sean's 14th wedding anniversary. We've been together 17 years and I love her today like I did the day I met her. Um, and, and it's funny, you know, not a lot of people say this, but every day it still feels new with her, man. It's like uh, we just met. It's crazy. I love her so much, you, you know? It's, uh, it's an amazing thing to find your soulmate. We've been through so much together, her and I, up and down. And we vowed that 2020 would be our year. And so far, God has blessed us with that. Hey, everybody, I'm Davey Z. I love you all. Take care, stay safe, um, and all that happy horse shit. I'm out of here.